Good morning. I am here with some Alamo Heights High School students to get their perspective on particular parts of our profile of a learner. Um, as we've been developing the profile of the learner, several students, teachers have asked me, what do the students think? What's their perspective? And so that's why I'm here. Uh, we are talking today about um, two parts of the profile. First is develop a healthy sense of self and employ skills for life. Those two are kind of similar, so we group them together. My first question to you all is, um, given those two domains, what are the kinds of things that you see students will be doing? What would you be doing if you guys were exhibiting these particular attributes? I would make sure that I always took risks, that I could, because taking risks is, the, is one of the best ways to further yourself. It puts you into a territory that you've never been before. And that you discover a lot about yourself, you discover your limitations, and you also discover usually what you're truly capable of if you're in a risky situation. I would go beyond looking at um, my number grade and ask myself, am I learning something? Not am I making a good grade on this, but am I learning all of this? Am I acquiring more, more knowledge? I agree with that. I really think it's important for students to not define themselves by their GPA. And I think that's what someone who is developing a healthy sense of self would do. Yeah, and I think another important fact of healthy sense of self is diversifying, not just doing all of those academic classes, but finding you know a fine art or an extracurricular sport that you really enjoy doing. And I think that's very important, is not just having the academic side of it. How about you guys? I think it's really important, uh, in especially in your core classes, to figure out what do you want to do with your life outside of this? Like, I love physics, but do I love astronomy? Do I love astrophysics or, or biology or other things like in the, in the scientific field? It's, it's endless, the possibilities of things that you could like. And if you don't take the risks to get out there, like taking AP Bio or taking some advanced course, then you won't know. You'll never know. I think it's important to um, like apply the things you learn to the real world because that's like a way to, to involve your mind and kind of like realize like how things come into play. So I think that I would be, you know, trying to do that. I think I would also be managing my time well because I think that is something that's really important in school, but also more important when you're getting paid to do something <laughs> to be able to manage your time well. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well thanks for that. Now my next question is. If you had to pick up one thing from these two domains uh, that particularly inspire you, that really fire you up, what would you tell me that is? What really inspires you from these two domains? I really like engage in self-reflection to understand one's personal strengths and unique gifts because I think it's really important that we know our strengths and our gifts because that helps us to understand that we are all worthy and accepted. I really like that also because I think from that, you also have to realize what your weaknesses are and what you need help from others to help develop strengths in that. And I think uh, developing healthy and loving relationships is also very important because loving relationships with your family, but you also have healthy relationships with your coworkers. And when you're networking for jobs and things, it's very important to have those relationships. And if you don't create those or forge those early, then you might miss out on possible uh, opportunities in your life. I think it's important to develop a strong work ethic and exhibit professionalism just because you know a lot of times in life like to get through things you just have to work through them and it's like hard to do that if you don't have a good work ethic. I really like uh, living a physically healthy life because it adds on that in, in addition to finding yourself in high school you need to be able to think in the now and make good choices and wake up early enough to get to school and eat a good breakfast because I know a lot of people that it sounds shallow but they just get hungry and they're frustrated when they're hungry so yeah I definitely know what that's like <laughs> uh, so uh, my, my last question about these two domains is um, what kinds of things would your teachers the adults at school what would we be doing what can we do to help support you in growing into these attributes I think it would be really important just to always make sure to push someone past what they think they can do and to make sure that they know that they can do more than what they're already doing. And Maybe, remind, oh, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. And remind them that they're more than a, just a number. Maybe you could even have teachers, obviously teachers can't share everything, but maybe they could share certain parts of this that, you know, that 
their moment when they developed a healthy sense of self or when they developed one of these attributes for themselves and maybe that could show students that it can happen in a huge variety of different ways and it doesn't just happen in this very specific way when you get a good grade on a test or something. It'd be important to like show the student um, like what they're doing in class and how that like will help them later in life or um, yeah and just very explicitly. Mm -hmm. I think it's really important to encourage them to power through some of their problems. See, like, some people are perfectionists, and if they turn in something that they don't think is perfect, then sometimes they just won't turn it in, or they'll keep it until it is perfect. And they say hindsight is twenty twenty. Well, when a student turns in an assignment and they know it's not the best, they'll know it's not the best, and the teacher has the power to look back and say, they tried really hard, and sort of reward them for that. Yeah. Um. Well, I'm fired up and inspired, and I can't wait to hear what the teachers have to say about these domains. <laughs>